Okay, now in processing, I'm going to talk about the mouse click and the kinds of things that we can do by clicking the mouse within a processing program. Now, um, now typically we say that the, uh, the there's a command in processing called mouse pressed. And mouse press is a variable that is either true or false. Either the mouse is pressed or it's not. It's a Boolean variable. And uh, we can use that fact as a simple way to test is mouse press true or is mouse press false within the processing program. So here's our first example that illustrates that. And I already have it copied in here. So let's uh, let's look at this this sketch. Okay, we begin with void setup. Inside void setup, we set up the size of the graphics window. We set the stroke weight to be 30. Um, and that'll be a, a pretty wide stroke. Uh, then we had void draw. And let me here just skip a line there. And here skip a line. There we set background to be 204, which is a gray background. We set the gray level of the stroke to be a darker 102 than the background. Now we draw a line. And the line goes from x equals 40, y equals 0. And um, x equals 40, y equals 0 would be in the upper left-hand corner. And the other end point in the line is x equals 70, y equals height. So it goes down to the bottom of the window. And then we check to see if mouse pressed is true. If mouse pressed is true, we execute what is in between these two brackets. And then if uh, it, so, if mouse pressed is not true, the the sketch skips over these statements, jumps right to this line. Whether after after it executes these statements or not, it then jumps to this line. And it draws a line of 0, 70 at one point to width 50 at a second point. So this is a line that goes across the window as it goes to x equals width, y equals 50. Okay, now let me run this code and you'll see that initially the mouse will not be pressed. It'll draw this line. It'll skip over this, and then it'll draw the second line, where the where the gray level on the second line is 102, which is the same as the gray level on the first line. So I execute, and here we go. We got it right here. Now, the mouse has to be in the window. The mouse is in the window, and I click on it. It will change the value of mouse press to be true in which case it will change stroke to zero. So it will change the color of the line, the next line, to complete black. And it will plot this line as complete black instead of as a gray. So I put the mouse in the window here, click on it, and you see that's exactly what happens here. I let the mouse go, and it goes back to gray. It's OK. So I, you can use your imagination and think, oh, this thing might be useful. It's useful for more than just changing the color of things. Now, one other thing I want to mention here. Mouse press is Boolean. Is true or false? Now, an if statement, it checks whatever is inside this parentheses. If it's true, it executes whatever is between these brackets. And if whatever is here is false, it won't execute it. And I say mouse pressed double equal true. This is the way we, we compare Boolean variables with a double equal sign. It's not like we use the equal sign. It's not the same equal sign. The other equal sign, when we only have a single equal sign, takes the value of the expression on the right-hand side of the equal sign and puts it into the variable on the left-hand side of the equal sign. This isn't doing that. This is just comparing whether these two are both true or both false. If they're both, if this were false and this were false, then this general statement here uh, would be true. 
okay but it's just checking if this is true then the general statement is true if this is false then this doesn't equal true so it's false too now it turns out we don't have to write this out this way we could just eliminate this whole thing right here in which case the if statement is just checking is mouse press true or not okay let me run it again this way it still graphs here without an error message remember the mouse has to be within the window and I press it and indeed the, so the program the sketch still works as before okay so now so this discusses a little bit what I just said about the double equal and and uh, and not being necessary in that particular example and this points out that it's a common mistake even for experienced programmers I do it uh, I've done it many times I still do it to write in your code a single equal when you mean to write a double equal okay so the processing software won't always warn you if this is uh, is an if this error is something that you're making okay now let's look at this next sketch right here and um, for example here we can change our our co our color uh, to black or white depending on whether the the mouse is pressed or not okay so um, and this one this uh, this listing of, of code is a little bit different than this let me copy it and put it in there copy okay there there we go paste it's looking here like I, I don't need to uh, uh, do any corrections on here. I, I, right here, here's one. Um, let me tab this over there. And then um, let me skip a line here and tab this over. And then let me skip a line here. So let me explain this. This is a variation on the if statement. Um, this is indented here. So I think that's everything we need. Okay, now, now everything looks pretty much the same. We get down here, we draw our first line. If mouse pressed, if mouse is pressed, we set the, the stroke to zero. Now, instead of just continuing, we have else. So else is if this is not true. So if this is true, we execute what's in between these two brackets. If this is not true, we jump down and we execute the code here, right in here, um, between these two brackets. That's what the else does for us. So I jump down here. And I set the stroke to 255. So I'm going to set the color of the line to white. So if we press the mouse, the color of the line is black. If we don't press the mouse, the color of the line is white. Okay, let's run this, see if it runs. There we go. Now initially the mouse is not pressed. Put the mouse in the window and press it. And indeed, I get, I get the line changing to black. And it works that way whether I press the left button or the right button on the mouse. Okay, so much for that. Now, let's look at this. Multiple mouse buttons right in here. And uh, I think I have that already programmed up here. Don't save right in here. Multiple mouse buttons where we can push the left button or the right button on the mouse. Okay, I have void setup, set the size of the graphics window, stroke weight is 30, uh, void draw. Remember, this is again repeated um, uh, as in the previous examples, void draw, it's repeated 60 times a second by default, void draw. We set the background to a gray, uh, the stroke to a little bit darker gray. We draw one line. Now we have 
nested if statements. If mouse pressed, so that's a general statement, is either button, is either button pressed. Okay, now if this is true, we execute what's in between these two brackets right here. And the next thing we do is we check is the left mouse button press. So if mouse button equal equal left, then we set the stroke to white. If it's not, if this, if mouse button is not the left mouse button, we execute the else. Let me put that down here. Else. So if we're pushing the right button, then we jump and do the else and we set the stroke to black and then we draw the line and it'll be either white or black. Let me see if this executes. There we go. Here's our window. Now I pull the mouse in the window. I'm going to push the left button and it's white, which is correct. And I push the right button and it's black, which is correct. Okay. Now that's how that works. Now, the key thing to observe here is I have what are called nested if statements. So if this is true, then we execute what's in between these two brackets. And the first thing we have is another if statement. If this is true, we execute what's between these two brackets. If the second statement is not true, we execute the else. Okay. So, and we can continue to nest if statements in there, as uh, that's discussed right here in these flow charts. And I'm going to, to skip this uh, in the video here, but you should look at it. In other words, we can keep putting in if statements to check for multiple things. We can check, is the mouse button pressed, true or false? Is it the left button or the right button? If it's the left button, is the uh, position of the mouse uh, above above some value or below some value and we can keep adding if statements in there and to check for various things so these nested if statements are a critical part of any programming okay now I think with that I'm going to stop here because the next example in fact uh, discusses what I was just talking about in other words what is the position of the mouse? And do we do something different depending on the position of the mouse? Okay, so with that then, I will talk about that next time.